the round in the kingdom of the divine will, praying with the servant of God, Louisa Picaretta, in the Easter Pentecost round. The round of the kingdom in the divine will in Easter and Pentecost. Praying with the servant of God, Louisa Picaretta, the little daughter of the divine will. May the kingdom of the divine will come to reign on earth. This book does not replace the divine office. It is for private use only. Dedicated March 25th, 2015, The Annunciation of the Lord. Fiat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, come, fuse me in your thrice holy divine will, now, Lord. Come pray in my praying. May these prayers be prayed on behalf of all people of all time, past, present, and future, from fallen Adam to the last creature created. Lord, may these prayers be placed on the lips of every soul, in their minds and their hearts, for the sole purpose of loving you, Lord, giving you that love with which you love yourself already within the thrice holy trinity. Fiat. Friday proper. First reading. Volume 19, April 9th, 1926. My daughter, my divine will contains the creative power. Therefore it creates in the soul, the strength, the grace, the light, and the very beauty with which it wants its own things to be done by the soul. So the soul feels a divine strength within herself, as if it were her own, a grace which is sufficient for the good that she must do, or for a pain that she is given to suffer, a light which as though naturally makes her see the good that she does, and attracted by the beauty of the divine work that she performs, she rejoices and makes feast, because the works that my divine will performs in the soul carry the mark of joy and of a perennial feast. This feast was started by my fiat in creation, but it was interrupted by the split of the human will from that of God. And as the soul lets the supreme will operate and dominate, the feast resumes its course, and the amusements, the games, the delights, continue between the creature and us. There is no unhappiness or sorrow within us. How could we give it to creatures? And if they feel unhappiness, it is because they leave the divine will and enclose themselves within the little field of the human will. Therefore, as they return to the supreme will, they find the joys, the happiness, the power, the strength, the light, the beauty of their creator. And making them their own, they feel within themselves a natural divine substance, which reaches the point of giving them joy and happiness, even in sorrow. Responsory. Therefore, it is always a feast between the one and us, triune God. We play and we delight together. Second reading. Volume 36, April 12, 1938. One who lives in my divine will has dominion over all, and we love her so much that we even let her dominate ourselves. 
we are so pleased in seeing the little creature dominating us that we feel unusual joy because we see that our will dominates in the creature and she dominates together with our will. Oh, how many times we let her win. Many times our joy is so great that we let our will win in the creature instead of in ourselves. Further, by living in the divine will, being in continuous contact with it, she acquires divine senses. She acquires a long sight. Her light is so penetrating and clear that she can even fix herself in God, in whom she sees the divine mysteries. She can touch our sanctity and beauty, loving them and possessing them. With this eye of light, she can find her creator everywhere. There is nothing in which she can't find him. With his majesty and his love, he bundles the creature and makes her feel how much he loves her. In feeling her love, he loves her, and oh, how unspeakable the joys on both parts. Feeling his love and loving him in everything. She acquires divine hearing and soon she hears what we, Triune God, want. She is always intent on listening to us, and there is no need to repeat again and again what we want. A small sign is enough, and all is done. She acquires a divine sense of smell. By merely smelling, she feels whether what is around her is good, holy, and belongs to us. She acquires divine taste. To the extent that she fills herself with love and all that is heaven. Finally, in our will, she acquires our touch so that all is pure and holy and there is no fear that even the smallest breath may shade her. How beautiful, lovely, and pretty, the one who lives in my fiat. You have reached the end of Friday proper. Fiat. <laughs>